All right, so moving into a matchup between Daniel Rodriguez taking on Jing Liang Li. Now, guys, UFC 279, it's got a bit crazy, right? But thankfully, you know, the card is still lit. The card is maybe better than what it was, to be honest. Now, I kind of want to start this breakdown by saying Jing Liang Li, this guy is, uh, he's a gangster, right? This guy is a gangster. There's a big advantage for Daniel Rodriguez in this matchup, and the advantage is going to be the weight. You know, Li weighed in. At 170 pounds Daniel Rodriguez weighed in 180 pounds and this fight is going to take place at 180 now here's kind of what I think with this matchup I think Daniel Rodriguez is a really really good boxer right his boxing super good on the flip side Lee you know he's a good striker too uh, a Sander practitioner so maybe he's going to be better with the kicks you know maybe a better kicker than Daniel Rodriguez but guys, strictly looking at the boxing with this matchup, I would have to say that Daniel Rodriguez would have the advantage there. You know, he's a clean boxer. Man, I just kind of feel bad for Lee. You know, buys the suit, wants to wear it, wants to show the suit off. Didn't even get to do that. And now he's got to fight Daniel Rodriguez, who's a better boxer, has a 10 pound weight advantage. You know what I'm saying? I think Lee's a gangster. But yeah, looking at the matchup, we do have, like I said, there's a weight advantage for Daniel Rodriguez, he's a better boxer than Jing Liang Li. I would have to side with D-Rod to win this matchup. And if the gangster, Jing Liang Li, can prove me wrong, get it done. You know what I'm saying? All the respect. All the respect. All right, be sure to let me know, are you taking the Chinese gangster or are you going to take the West Coast gangster? For me, guys, like I said, I believe there's going to be a boxing advantage for Daniel Rodriguez. And there's going to be a weight advantage. And that's why that's going to be my pick. All right. Peace.